in the current ATM system. And first, we'll introduce ourselves. My name is Rachel. I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. Okay. Um, first, I want to explain why we need a change in the current ATM system. Um, basically, ATMs are on the racks. For instance, between the years 1996 and 2003, the total number of ATMs in the United States increased by over 200,000. Also, 60% of Americans between the ages of 25 and 34, and 51% between 35 and 49 use ATMs eight times a month. There are more than 170 million Americans with an ATM card, and each year ATM, ATMs perform 17 billion transactions. Also, retailers, which are on the rise for buying ATMs, um, found that those that dispense $20 bills increased their store sales by 20%. So with all the increases in ATMs, we feel a new, easier system is necessary. <clears throat> in deciding to redesign the system, we had to go to others to find out what they disliked about it. So we interviewed several people to find out what they didn't like, and we found that they had several problems with it. The first person we had use an ATM and describe what she thought about it and her frustrations while she was using it. She found that the menu was too crowded and confusing with options that she never used, and she didn't like how the buttons didn't line up with the options, and it took extra time to pick which button she wanted to choose. The second person we had use an out outdoor ATM, and they found it hard to see the screen with the direct sunlight hitting it. And they also felt that they could easily forget their card in the machine, which I know I've done before. And they could easily forget their money because it's out of their island of sight. And the third person felt that she could use more security and found the, the depositing option confusing and so she therefore never used it. We then went to find examples of these problems in Ames. Um, this is an example of the menu screen being too crowded. As you can see, there are quite a few options. I know for me, usually I'm just using the withdrawal option. So a lot of these I never even pay attention to. Um, the next screen shows how, well it's kind of hard to see, but there are too many buttons. There are four buttons on this side with two options. And the two options are in the center two buttons, which can be very confusing, like you can't tell if you should hit the top button or the second or the bottom. And then um, this screen is how it can be hard to see um, the screen. Like this is an outdoor ATM, and this particular one is a touch screen, which I couldn't see because the sunlight was directly hitting on it, so I didn't know it was a touch screen. Plus, there are buttons down here, so it's confusing because you're confused as to why there are buttons in a touch screen. Um, the next screen shows um, how, well these obviously aren't all the steps in one, one transaction, these are just a few of them, but um, we've, with doing one interview we found one person had to go through eight steps in just withdrawing cash. Um, and this screen shows how the money can be out of the island of sight. As you can see, the money is way down here and the screen is way up here. The screen is actually below your island of sight, so therefore the money is like down here so you could easily not see it come down and therefore forget it if you're in a hurry. Um, next screen shows how it can be easy to see in on other people's business and therefore people don't feel very secure. I mean, obviously you can see the screen and the buttons for this person. So if other people are walking around, you can feel uncomfortable and that they can see what you're doing and your PIN number and whatnot. Um, those are just a few examples of why we felt the ATM system needed to be re redesigned. Um, with our new design, um, we would like our users to be able to quickly and easily perform three tasks. These tasks are withdrawing cash, transferring money from one account to another, and depositing money. We also want the new system to have easy learnability and memorability so they can continue to use the ATM without frustration. Ryan is now going to explain our new system and how the changes we make. Okay. <clears throat> for our new system, we decided to have uh, less screens, so there's less steps for people to do. Uh, 
We decided to give the users more feedback for what they're doing while they're doing it. Uh, we tried to make it more intuitive so they wouldn't have to learn the ATM every time. And uh, we decided to give them more options with less confusion. Uh, I have a video of me interacting with it in a more high fidelity prototype. studied their actions uh, and based on if they uh, did the task fluidly and if they did the task completely. Or the person had no errors at all. Uh, the third person uh, had an error in the withdrawal option, but otherwise they did everything else fluidly. Uh, the fourth person uh, also had no errors, and the fifth person had an error in the withdrawal option again. Um, and they also had confusion in where to enter their card, given that it was a, pro, a paper prototype, I guess that's acceptable. Um, throughout our testing, we noticed the main problems were in the withdrawal option. Uh, the three participants that failed this option um, actually hit the larger withdrawal button instead of the uh, smaller uh, button that fell below. Uh, and this is why what Ryan showed us before that we created the drop-down menu, just modified it a little bit to make it a little more useful. Mm -hmm. Also, had some modifications. Uh, a key step was to have our interface uh, a digital touchscreen, grid of numbers, um, that would make it less of a problem to actually push and therefore activate. Uh, also, we would make it less, uh, uh, much less deceiving uh, when viewing from an angle from above, because we wanted to make the screen move back and forth, so you can view it at from any height, no matter how tall you were. Um, but for some reason, yeah, most ATMs um, uh, have the yes, like the, it's confusing to look at because the yes button is, like as she was saying before, the second button down, and it makes it very confusing, especially from the angle at which you look at from above. 